Hey there, Neil from Dergo Move. This is Operation Theseus Gazala 1942. It's turn three and the Axis forces are coming out of the eastern edge of the map to uh, try and take Tobruk and Gazala and various other areas from the combined forces of the Commonwealth. The Axis are having mixed success so far. They've crashed out of the east into this row of minefields where they've had real mixed success in getting through them, to be honest. Down south, the uh, Ariete Division for the Italians and various mobile infantry and panzer units for the Germans have breached most of Berhashim but failed to open the supply line into the sort of northwest there, moving towards the Knightsbridge BP hex. But they have managed to open uh, a line of supply down here, perhaps just off camera. In the centre, there's a little bit of a standoff between the Italians and the uh, Northumbrian Division. Whoever breaks first there is going to leave this space open if they're the Northumbrians and this space open. Potential for negative VPs for the Germans there if the Italians move first. Well, up in the north, a little bit hard to see at the size of the map here. We do have uh, the first South African division very gamely holding on against the combined forces of the um, Italian Trento, Sabrithia divisions, and also the 15th for the Germans. This turn, a few important things are going to happen. The British uh, have the additional units around Tobruk and some of these independent units here now available for moving. And should they hold on to the VP hexes at Knightsbridge and the Akrema box, those VP hexes will be worth less for the Germans if they take them after this turn. So some very key things to try and defend for the, the British. Germans have got to get through this area here and they've got to open up a midpoint supply line to support these panzers moving upwards. There's too much attrition on these panzers. It's going to leave them very vulnerable later in the game and potentially risk an entire collapse of the uh, advance. Okay, admin's all been done. The forces have had their formations reactivated. Most units are now hovering around the halfway point for their formation activations. And all that remains for me to do now is to move into the operations phase and uh, see who's got the initiative. I will place the Swerve Pump counter back with the 90th because I think they're the ones who are going to attempt to breach some of these hexes up here and get through the minefields. Rejoining the turn about two thirds of the way through. Most of the action is taking place down here in the southern central part of the map, mostly to do with the ebb and flow of the battle between the British 1st Armoured, 7th Armoured, and then the 21st Panzers, 90th Mobile Infantry, and the 15th Panzers. It's been a bit scrappy. The um, both sides have had some success and some misfortune, but where we're at, at the moment with virtually no activations remaining for the 7th, 1st, 15th Panzers or the 90th Mobile Infantry, is a situation where the 15th Panzers have taken Knightsbridge, but they have not breached the minefield, meaning it cannot act as supply for the Axis forces at the moment. But what has also happened is the Axis have cut off using the Mobile Infantry under there, and that um stack here for the 15th they've cut off a lot of the supply sources for the, the british coming out of the south um southeast here so that means this, this unit here is only just in supply by coming up there and then following that trail towards the north the leg unit here is just going along here and were it not for that ridge and that uh, minefield hex there, they would actually be out of supply due to this unit here from the Italians. It's a very precarious position, basically, for the the British at the moment. Very low on activations. Uh, the armor, the first armor, just have one activation remaining, and the seventh have none. The Germans are not in that much better of a position, to be honest, because they're also running very low activations for the 90th, the 15th, and the Ariete division down here. But the Panzers, the 21st Panzers, do still have a fair number of activations remaining. But they would need to 
really go around, I think, to try and get here, which could be tricky because they're still drawing supply from down the bottom here. It's doable, but not the most straightforward thing until this central position is resolved and supply can finally be drawn through towards the uh, western side of the map. Um, yeah, so quite a, a difficult one to call as we go through this turn. Some terrible luck on both sides, particularly around these minefields. The Germans managed to take loads of the minefield hexes, but none of the ones that really provide a good crossroads through to the far edge of the map just yet. End of the turn, and we have a hot mess of disrupted units and out of command divisions and just general disorganization going on all around here and up towards the other end of the map over there where the minefields are still taking their toll on the units trying to get through it. Here in the kind of more open area with uh, mostly clear terrain and a few broken areas, the um, Panzer units and the Area 2 Division have punched up this way even further and also they've kind of carried on with their move around this way. The act of doing so has put the 7th Armoured for the Commonwealth out of command but has kind of almost formed a little pocket round here where the 15th Panzers are at a real risk of finding themselves in a real spot of bother if they're not careful. And also the supply line here for the 21st Panzers is very precarious. So if the 7th or the 1st Armoured for the Commonwealth get to go first, there's going to be real problems for the Germans early next turn. The supply line here or the command line is very precariously through that line, that centre sent there of that little trio of units. And then the um, command line here actually goes across the ridge and then down this way, you can go across one ridge, uh, ridge hex side uh, in a command line. But then supply is drawn all the way along there at the moment, which is quite a long, precarious supply line. And the reason for that is we're still struggling to get through the the minefield hexes here. We've breached tons of minefield hexes in total, which is why I'm using these blocks, because they are now representing breached hexes where I've run out of actual tokens to do that but we still haven't got a nice clear supply line anywhere through that centre area there which is a very frustrating thing for the German and the Italian side but for the Allies it's very helpful because it means they've still got this supply line open here and units like the 1st Armoured can draw supply there and the 7th can also draw supply through there as well so it's all a bit precarious on both sides in terms of supply and so on up here we do have um, more breached minefield hexes with the Trento division for the Italians breaching through and pushing back some of the first South Africans and managing to knock out two entire divisions of uh, Commonwealth tank units um, attacking them while they're disrupted, would you believe? And then the other units here for the Sabrathia and the 15th on the Germans are also slowly but surely getting through those minefields. The Northumberland Division, uh, these sort of yellow ones in the centre for the Commonwealth, are slowly being forced further and further back. And the British now have to try, I think, to get their units over these kind of parallel ridges almost um, and into the, the area here behind those ridges to slowly narrow down the path that the German Panzer divisions can take and really force them into, into a slowed advance um, because I don't know how else they can they can do it really because once as soon as the Germans get round and block off these two supply lines the British are kind of kind of stuck and if the, the, the Axis get into Tobruk and those units or, or the Commonwealth divisions are out of supply, a certain number of them are out of supply, that's an automatic win for the Germans. So it's um, looking a bit dodgy on both sides, but very tense, and we'll see what happens next. I think a lot's going to happen on the first turn because the Panzer units could find themselves in real problems, but equally so could the, the British armoured divisions as well. It's going to be very, very interesting. 
In terms of the track board, virtually everybody, with the exception of the Trento Division and the 21st Panzers, are down to um, either their last or completely uh, out of formation activations, meaning everyone's starting more or less at half strength for the next next turn. In terms of the VPs, um, the 21st Panzers have not quite got into the uh, El Arden Hex, the uh, 5th Indian Division have held them off. But here we did get into Knightsbridge. Now Knightsbridge is interesting because it's one of those hexes which not only reduces in value over time, it starts off being worth uh, 3 points if you can take it while in command, 2 if you take it without the turns 1 through 3. But then it flips and becomes lower in value for turns 4 through 5 and then again on 6 plus. But you only score it at the end of the game, so you you make a note essentially that you manage to enter the hex and take control of the hex uh, in turn three. But then the hex may change hands and so on and so forth until the end of the game, but and it's the last player in control of that hex that determines whether or not the Germans get the victory points. If the Germans do manage to keep the keep control of the hex at the end of the game, they will get the victory points for the turn they first entered it, is my understanding. If the if the British or the Commonwealth are the last uh, side in that hex, then the Germans will not get big VPs. That's my understanding of it. Um, a couple of hexes like that in the game. A little bit strange, but um, not too bad. Uh, I suppose it encourages you to attack hard and fast as, it, as the German side. Now, it's important here because we've got that VP, uh, and the Germans need to get at least 10 VPs, 11 really, to, to score a win. Currently, we're sat on one. Um, so we've, we've, we've potentially claimed the maximum VPs we can for this hex. And now what you're really thinking about doing for the, the, the Panzer units there is try, trying to get out and maybe moving down this way if they can, or trying to take out the first armoured uh, HQ. Maybe that's an option. But a lot's going to depend on that first initiative roll and who gets to go first next time. Speaking of which, I will finish up here and uh, see you again for turn four.